Now what I'm doing here is I am prepping my fabric for a free painting with soy milk. And by free painting I mean I'm going to use the natural dyes and a regular liquid solution with no gum trigger cannon. And the reason why I want to prep my fabric with soy milk is it will lock my dyes onto my fabric. My fabric has been mordant with alum and cream of tartar. The cream of tartar is not necessary. However, it's a really nice addition when using the red dyes. You could put the red, the cream of tartar into your red dyes such as lac, matter lac, matter root cochineal. And I'm just using an inexpensive natural bristle brush here. You can do this in one of several methods. You can let your soy milk dry on your fabric and then apply your dye. Or you can let your fabric with the soy milk dry and then apply your dye. This method is excellent when you are going to apply pigments to the fabric. You need to use your fabric within a couple of days. So after about three or four days, the soy milk hardens and the dye will not penetrate the fiber. And this is an ancient technique of using protein to lock dye color and pigment to a substrate. The Japanese have been using this for millennia. I learned about this technique from a teacher by the name of Judy Dominic in a Bogolanfini class and also as part of my research for my PhD my dye concentration is on the dye paint and pigment techniques of the Central Plains people. And they used acorn milk, the contents of yucca leaf, and bone marrow fat. And in some instances, depending on where at in the country, they used bear fat or um, raccoon fat. So you could substitute the bear fat and the raccoon fat out with suet. Now I'm going to allow this to dry. In fact, I'm going to take it outside and hang it on the clothesline because it's a bright sunny day where it's slightly windy. So it'll make it dry that much faster and then I can come back in a, about a half hour and apply my dye extracts. Again, I'm not going to mix my dye extracts with gum tracker cannons. I'm going to mix them with hot water and apply them with paint brushes. And then we'll get into a technique I like to refer to as ghosting.